2006 when they beat the Washington Huskies by a 31 to 24 score. First play right up the gut. Stewart picks up nine. Josh Hill defending for California, but again a nine on first down. We gave that offensive line for Colorado grief early in this game, but they have done a fantastic job moving people off the ball today and creating holes in the run game when they have needed to. So second down and short. Hanson toying with a 500-yard game. Give it to Stewart again, first down. And more inside the five-yard line. Rodney Stewart, two carries, and he's picked up 21 yards. Sean Katus makes the stop. And he ran through several arm tackles. Great vision and a nice cut at the line of scrimmage. He made a cut two holes over. Saw the space behind the black shirt. And you do not want your safeties making tackles on tailbacks if you're a defensive coordinator. First down and goal. Keep in mind the Bears have not had a quarterback sack in this game. Hanson give it to Stewart again. This time he stopped before he can get started. First man to him was Trevor Guyton. And then it was DJ Campbell who finished him off right about the line of scrimmage. It gets to a coaching point. When we talked to John Ember yesterday, he said they were still running ones on ones in run drill in the hole with guys hitting each other at full speed, game speed, trying to develop toughness, trying to develop technique, and it is paying off for this offensive line for the Buffs. He also said the D's won. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Out of the power eye on second down, they need four. We give it to Stewart again. Stewart trying to bounce it outside, surrounded and down right at the line of scrimmage. And now it'll be third down. Might have even lost the yard. Trevor Guyton and Caparelli on the stop for California. And third and five. I would expect to see play action something where you allow Tyler Hansen to get outside and potentially make the play himself. As a linebacker, you have to honor the run, but you have to be aware of play action. Hansen has completed just two of his last six passes. He needs five. Straight back. Pump fake. Throw the end zone. It is knocked away on a great defensive job by Steve Williams. Williams almost had a pick. Williams had a chance to virtually end this game because if he picks that ball off, A, he could return it. But B, he gets this pick, Cal's offense, all they have to do is come out, line up, and kick a field goal, and they win the game. Great coverage the entire play by Williams. So it'll be Oliver to try the field goal, chip shot field goal for him. It's gonna be a 22-yarder. But it does open the door a crack for California. It is placed, it is on its way, it is good. And the Buffs take a 33-3 lead. And what that does, I know that the Buffs scored, but that takes pressure off of Cal because I've been in that situation where you have to come out and score a touchdown. And there's a lot of pressure. You have to be perfect. You feel like you have to be perfect. It seems like the game clock speeds up and everything around you is moving faster. But now if you only have to kick a field goal to tie, it takes some pressure off as a quarterback, as an offense, and allows you to operate without being hurried. So now the Bears at the 25-yard line go on offense. And you made a good point earlier. They're at the close end of the stadium here, and they're going to hear it from the Colorado fans. Yeah, this is when the hometown crowd has to come through as the 12th man. Probably go with a silent count. Maynard now goes up under center. And Maynard gives to Cefeli. Cefeli bumps off one man, but picks up only about a yard. Josh Hardigan, first man to him. A great pursuit by Derek Webb. Inside out, chasing down the play. I've been really impressed with this defense for Colorado in the second half. They are flying around the ball. Absolutely. Both sides of the ball. They played great in the second half. Second out of nine now for the Bears. The crowd really into this game. Zach Maynard getting a true test here.
Maynard straight back. He's got a little time. A little clear out this time for Jones. Makes the catch short of the first down. It's going to be third down and just about a yard. 31, much easier than third and long. They bring Anderson into the ball game. Anderson really is the banger on this team. And the only reason he's not getting more minutes is he's still working on his protections. He's the lone setback. Allen to the near side, two tight ends. They give it to Anderson. Stutter steps, falls forward and gets it. He didn't get it by much. Nice job making that initial move, though, because if he gets caught in that wash, he doesn't get it at all. Making that initial cut. Watch him bounce back to his left. That cut is what got him free for the first down. Good vision and good ability to react to what you see. So Anderson will come off. So Fale will come back. Bears have a first down at the 15-yard line. Maynard under center. And a flag is down. And a procedure call against the Bears. So that'll back him up five. Five yards. That summer's Gavin getting out of his stance a little early. So I was talking about with that clock speeding up. You feel like you're in a rush. You've got to get going. Matt Summers Gavin, a very good player in that offensive line, a veteran guy out there. And he jumps. It's getting loud down yeah. in that end zone. The hometown crowd is coming through. It really is. They are on their feet as one. And the Bears are really hearing. Maynard under center, give to Safele. Safele tries to get the edge down, cuts back, flag down. And that is in the area of holding. And the Bears are about to penalty themselves out of field goal range. Personal foul, face mask on the offense. Offensive face mask. And a 15-yard penalty. That's worse than holding. It's worse than holding. Essentially, it is a hold. Yeah, it's it just is. a holding yeah. by the face mask, or as I like to call it, the handle. Right. Because whenever get, someone gets a hand on it, it becomes a handle. And that's going to back the Bears all the way up to the 35-yard line. There it is. Matt Summers Gavin again, hands up around the head. And it's so easy to get your hand into that face mask. Hand placement, critical for the offensive lineman. And quite honestly, from this point, I think it's right at the edge of Giorgio Tavecchio's range. Maynard straight back. Throws, got a man. It is caught by Allen. Allen at the five, stop at the three-yard line. Wow. Play of the day for California. And a game-saving play, potentially, by Parker Orms to come up with that tackle. Great catch by Keenan Allen. Maynard looking to the field, coming back, and of course, going to his brother. And just getting it over the hands of Sandersfield. Just, but Parker Orms, if this Colorado defense can stop the Bears, came, came up with a huge tackle. Anderson back at tailback. And a bootleg with Maynard running, trying to get to the edge, and loses two yards. And Martin Jones almost got another holding penalty out there at receiver, working hard, trying to get the block. So it'll be second down, now it's second and five. Great defense by Colorado, keeping somebody home on the backside boot. So Felly comes back into the ball game, Anderson will leave. And again, the crowd gets involved at the five yard line. Bears need a touchdown to win, a field goal to tie. They've got seven seconds on the, sh on the uh, play clock to get this off. And they do. Short drop, Maynard throws for Allen. He's got it. Touchdown, game over. And the hometown crowd absolutely silenced. Brother to brother, and the act works again. And I mean, they snatched that win away from a team that had all the momentum. All of it and then it played so well in the second half, had really earned it. And the Bears came away just making enough plays to win that game. And I'm sure all of them are breathing a collective sigh of relief and saying, I'll take it, thank you very much, we're 2-0.